Hello, everyone. We're so glad that you are tuning in again. This is our final video in our Activate Your Mantrepreneur series. And today, I mean, how does it get any better, right? We have uh, uh, tips for you on how you can learn to simply ask the right questions. And this will blow your mind about how you may have been just asking all the wrong questions and how you can reframe uh, your words, which we became very aware of in the first or second video, and, and ask the right questions so that you can tap into that field of infinite possibilities that we spoke about. So Alex has a really fun story to share with us, and I'm excited to hear about this. Tell us. Yes. Well, well, first, I just want to share that we all know at, by this time that we know that the universe wants to gift to us, right? That we're now kind of co-creating with the universe, and it's all about working with the divine. And that's what our, our workshop is really about, Whitney, is really like merging with the divine to support us so that we don't have to work so hard so that we can receive. But how do we do that? Well, we do that by asking questions. And I learned this uh, about three years ago through a group called Access Consciousness. And you can look it up online, accessconsciousness.com. And they really kind of taught me this question opening uh, way to receive and gift from the universe. And, and so we're going to take it a little bit farther in our workshop and we're going to dig in and give you some really good questions to ask. Um, but my favorite is, how does it get any better than this? So if I say that question to people often, they look at me and they go, oh my God, it doesn't get any better. <laughs> and so a quick demonstration of that is, is that when I say, how does it get any better than this, the energy is open and the universe actually has to answer you, right? You just let go. You're like, okay, it's your deal now. Like, how does it get any better than this? Right? But if you say it doesn't get much better than that, you actually are shutting the energy down because you are commanding your thoughts, create your reality. Your words create your reality. Doesn't get much better than this. How does that feel when I say that? as opposed to how does it get any better than this, right? So that's my number one favorite question. If you know me personally, you know I say it every day, all day long, all the time. And my world rocks because more and more is gifted to me via the universe. But the story that Winnie's referring to is I wanted to get my water to the Black Eyed Peas because uh, Will I Am was one of my favorite singers and they were coming to Orange County when I lived there. And what I did is I thought, oh, how can I get to the manager of the Black Eyed Peas so I can give water so when they go on the stage, they'll be drinking Alcamancha. It'll help them, right? They'll be surrounded by their love and, and you know, gratitude. And it's just what I wanted to contribute. And so I started to look online and that was too much work. And I just said, no, 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 I got to use my tools. So I said, what's it going to take for me to get to the manager of Black Eyed Peas? Okay, this is like a tall order. <laughs> it's pretty much like, okay, it's as big as it can get. And so I was, you know, quiet and doing my stuff. And then two months later, I got the intuition to call my friend. So I call my friend who lives in Hollywood and we used to work at Fox television together. And I said, okay, this is like a random question, but I'm trying to find the manager of Black Eyed Peas. Any ideas? Like if you know anybody that I could maybe contact and he's like, actually I do. He's like, give me a few minutes. And I was <laughs> seriously like laughing. I was like, okay, cool. So like five minutes later via email, I got the personal cell phone for the manager for Black Eyed Peas. Nice. Five minutes. And so I called the manager, I delivered the water, uh, I delivered water to them, and we were actually in negotiations for about two years to actually partner with them, and you know, the energy just didn't work out, and it didn't pan the way I, I really wanted to, but for me, just the joy in knowing that I created that possibility just by asking the questions. So you can really create and manifest anything by opening up that energy and asking, or what else is possible here? If you're in a situation where, you're, you know, things are and not looking good from the perspective you're in, you're present, you're listening, you're aware, you go, what else is possible here? And then leave it. Let it go. You know what? It's the universe's deal. It can figure it out. And then you just keep going. And what will happen is things will start to pop in, right? Anytime you get stuck, it's about opening that energy and letting it out and inviting that question in so that somebody else can answer it. Well, and what I love about what you said is you mentioned that you asked the question and then this friend crossed your mind, right? Yes. And right. so, and you took immediate action and called them. 
Yeah. So that's something that I've learned to do um, tremendously is is to pay attention to those thoughts that yes. pop into your mind because they could be popping into your mind and you could just say, oh, you know, I need to be present or why am I thinking about them or whatever. But when you yes. ask the question and something comes to you or an email pops up or, you know, your computer like randomly goes to a different website than you intended, it's like pay attention to all of that because that is how the universe can answer right? It answers you in that very intuitive, subtle way. And once again, once you tune into it, you can recognize that and you know, even if you haven't asked the question right then, right? You may ask a question and a week later, uh, a, a name, a person crosses your mind. Call yes. when When someone crosses your mind like that, you can do it. And, you know, I even hate to bring it up, but I know we're all familiar with the flip side of the question where we ask ourselves, why does this never happen for me? Or why does Ooh. this always happen? Why? I know it's like, you don't even want to do that, but we all do that. And once you realize, once you hear the kinds of questions that Alex just suggested, and then you realize how many times you ask yourself, you know, why does this always happen to me? I worked with um, an amazing woman in Nigeria, and uh, she's the whole reason I started my coaching program. And she said that before she adopted this awareness, right, this right brain awareness, she said whenever I would think of my dreams, I would follow it up with all the reasons why it was never going to work. Mm. She goes, now whenever I think of my dreams, I think of all the reasons why it's going to work. And that is such a huge, tremendous shift. And she's had nothing but different opportunities open up for her since then. And and it's all about the questions. It is. And, and the why, I, I disinvite you from saying the why, because the why is really, it, that question, that word forces the logical mind to answer. Yeah. And it's preposterous to think that your little brain is more potent than the entire universe. So it's like you have this giant playing field of magic above your head, right? That goes to the beginning of time and all the answers live there. So <laughs> get out of here and give it to them, give it to the universe, give it to the stars, give it to your angels and guides, give it to whoever to answer for you. But your job is to use your brain to listen and to receive that. I mean, even just in our workshop, okay, I said, what's it going to take for us to get this message out there? What PR channel is the most effective? And I got the message to contact one of my cousins who has done PR before. I never would have really thought to call her. You know what I mean? It wasn't. But because I asked that question and I let it go, then it came into my awareness. I thought, oh, that's a really good idea, right? So it's like it's inviting all of these possibilities to show up for you, but you have to ask the questions. And you have to get used to not being in control. So if you are a control freak, I invite you to come to our workshop because we'll rattle shake that out of you so that you can just let go and be free. And that is really what we're here and that's what this workshop is going to be about is so that you can then begin to enjoy you you can begin to enjoy you your body your life as well as run your business with an enormous amount of flow and ease and I'm not kidding when I say that this is not pipe dream and hopefully these videos have the capacity to show you that because both Whitney and I are living examples of that and we're no different than you we just happen to be attuned to it and have been practicing it for a while. So that's why we're sharing it with you. Exactly. So what is it going to take to get you to San Francisco on June 28th and 29th? What is it going to take for you to spend two days with us and really soak in to this information and take the time surrounded by 43 other conscious business people who are moving forward with their heart? And, um, and what is it going to take for you to invest in your business? And you know what it might take as well, and Alex and I are open to this, it might take you reaching out to us and saying, hey, why don't you come to Florida or Hawaii or uh, where else would we like to go? You know, New York or Seattle or Seattle, New York right? or Europe for that matter. So let us know if you want to help host one of these Activate Your Entrepreneur events. 
Yeah, absolutely. And we thank you for following along and really paying attention. We hope that these video series have really helped you. We would love to hear from you. We would love to know if you you took these actions and you were present and you were in alignment, right? And and these these things to support you in your business, um, because once you kind of get it, right? And I'm speaking for myself and. I'd love to get your input on it too, Whitney, is, but once you get it, it's kind of like riding a bike, you know, you don't really go back from it. You might lose touch from it, but you really, you get it. And then they just kind of add on. You just get this beautiful treasure chest of tools and entrepreneur mindsets that support you not only in your business, but they will kind of bleed into your life. Because one thing that I personally, my mission is to raise consciousness in humanity all over. It's not just about I'm working my business and then I'm living my life. It's about the congruency in your entire life so that you can have the bliss and the joy and that we can actually be living as we were designed to live and not in this rat race of the logical mind, contextual reality running around and and missing all of the beauties and the gifts of life. Exactly. And the other thing I'll add is that you know, we, we are here now, right? And so, you know, like when Alex mentioned, if you're um, like being in control, there's always going to be a part of you where that's going to serve you, where being in control is going to serve you. And then there are all these other times and opportunities when letting go and letting go of that control and tapping into that right hemisphere way of thinking and being present and following the clues and following your intuition where that's going to benefit you. So now you're going to have this wholeness um, to choose from rather than just kind of a one track um, approach, right? And so it's about expanding out more into the fullness of who you are and what you're capable of. And the thing is, is that we're all infinitely more capable of what we judge ourselves to be capable of, right? We're our own worst critics. So that's so old paradigm, new paradigm. Yep. And when you bliss your business out from the inside is about um, really opening up to all the possibilities and that you are worthy and you deserve it and that the world needs it. So we can't wait to connect with you. Thank so you. So well said. I'm going to leave you with one last question. So if you're still on the fence, what you might want to ask the universe is, what energy, space, and consciousness can I be to allow me to expand my business from the inside out by attending the Activate Your Entrepreneur Mindset Workshop? And let the universe answer for you. Watch what shows up. If you are meant to be, you will be. And that's what Whitney and I know for a fact, that all of the right people will be aligned, will have listened to this message, and will be there to serve their businesses, which are now in turn going to be serving others for the highest good of all. So, yay! How does it all are going to have fun connecting and helping each other. There's going to be some amazing networking going on. So that's pretty exciting, too. I'm excited to see what happens as a result of all that. All right, everyone. Go Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Bye. Bye.